Hey guys, this is Peter with GoodyReader.com, and today we have a review of the Paperlike Pro by Dasung. Not Samsung, Dasung. Now, this device is not independently powered, meaning you have to hook it up to your computer, and you must have a full HDMI port on your computer, laptop, PC, whatever you're going to use. And uh, we'll just show you this right now. So we have CM, they do different commands, like refreshes and turn on and off and all like stuff like that. On the back, you have a uh, the four-point mount that has a fine thread uh, metric screw that goes in there, and you also have a mount for like basically gravity. So if you have like some nice mounts, you can hang it this way or that way. And this thing doesn't really have a whole lot to it. There's nothing going on on this side, and this side has a full USB port and a micro HDMI. Uh, mini HDMI, sorry, mini HDMI, and a indicator light telling you it's turned on. This does not have any battery, this does not have any storage, it's literally just a second screen for your device. So we're going to show you how to hook it up and then show you it working. You'll be given a cord that looks like this. It'll have a mini HDMI on one end, splitting out into two, which will be a full HDMI into a full USB. You need them all plugged in at the same time and depending on how old your computer is they will also require you to use a USB to USB cable as well but uh, for this test we won't be requiring this one. Yes you can see how old my computer is but I don't have a whole lot of devices that have full HDMI and you will need a full HDMI port for this to work um, and at least one USB port on your computer or laptop. So what you want to do is connect your micro USB to the Dasung. USB to the computer and full HDMI to the computer. So you can see here we've extended the desktop from my computer off camera to here. So what we're going to do is basically just open up an ebook right now, um, aka a PDF, and we're just going to check it out. So this is what the PDF looks like. I'm controlling everything on my computer off camera here. This thing is not touch screen. And uh, what you'll need to do is press the C button in order to clear the page because this thing ghosts pretty easily. And as you see as I'm scrolling down, you start to get a lot of ghosting. So how you can combat that is one of two ways. You can press the C to refresh it like I said, or you can press Sometimes that happens. This thing isn't the most stable device. Um, or you can press the M, and what this does, it turns it into a um, an A2 mode, basically, and it, and it speeds everything up, but it lowers the quality of the actual picture. Once again, you can press M to go back to the normal mode, or you can press C to clear everything. And uh, this is basically just kind of like the e-reading experience on this thing. What we're going to do now is slide over to our computer and move in a full HD image of a landscape. So now we're on full HD. You can see that. It's fantastic. If we go to the M, what it's going to do is dilute the image very heavily so you can do things like zoom in and zoom out and have a little bit more fluidity on the actual mouse as you can see here. So if we go down to the zoom and we zoom in you see it's a little bit more fluid but if we turn it to the full power here if we go to <laughs> this thing is, uh, we've noticed it does that a couple times. So there we go. If we uh, turn it to the full power here, you can see it doesn't zoom in as crisp and as easily. And why this is, is because it's trying to render the full resolution every single second. Whereas if you have it in this mode, it's very diluted, it's very grainy, but everything moves around a little bit more. I can move my mouse, you know, I can grab things, I can X out a little bit easier. It works better. So they give you the two modes to really, you know, uh, allow you to have full flexibility over this thing. So, um, I mean, you can do things like browse around on the internet and of course, I mean, it does everything you're doing on your computer, but I would probably not recommend playing videos and stuff like that and we're going to show you why right now just because we're one of the only people that uh, have this in our hands. So we're just going to play a little video here from our channel and we're going to leave it in full quality mode and then move over to uh, A2 mode. 
So this is the video playing in full quality mode. You can see it's really laggy. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of like step by step by step kind of thing. Um, there's a lot of staining on the screen, obviously, because it's ghosting. If you press the uh, the quality button, essentially, you see how you've you've dil diluted the quality of the image, but it is moving a little bit more fluid now. And if you press the C button, the C button is um, refreshing the screen, so it will uh, it will be a little bit more, you know, less stainy. And if you press the M one more time, you go into like super fluid mode, but you can see that the contrast and the, the quality is just gone. So, uh, I mean, if you had to have this on the side playing a little image or something, it does work to a certain degree. So, um, yeah, that was basically video on the, uh, on the Dasung. And, I mean, it can technically do it, but we don't recommend it. And here's an ad playing for everybody. That's fantastic. So, yeah, so looking at this, we we think it's a great idea for a secondary screen. Obviously, that's its purpose, I know, but, uh, but it wasn't a fail, is what I mean. It works perfectly as a secondary screen, and it's e-ink. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can see that it says here, um, please have the Dasung software on your computer, or else it won't work properly. Here, press the C button, use it temporarily. We have everything on our computer off screen here. Um, this thing is just not 100% refined in terms of its uh, software, and uh, uh, we highly recommend it though in this regard that the hardware is fantastic. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. For goodyreader.com, this is Peter.